Thanks, how y'all doing? Okay, so today I'm coming at you with a reveal on another brand that I really, really like, and it's the MCM. You've maybe seen a couple of those videos on my channel, and it's my other kind of go-to uh, brand. And so now that, uh, I don't know, now that we're in the fall, I, I, well actually, I was using the Neverfull and the Damier Bean, and it was going to be my fall winter bag, while I was visiting with a friend, and she was asking me about a lot of questions about the MCM, and so I was kind of like, oh, I think I kind of want to go use that. So um, I did. I went ahead and switched back, and I've been using my Vecetos tote and the cognac. And this is the Vecetos. This is the medium size. It's considered medium. But the measurements, just so you know, are 15 inches wide by 11 inches tall by 6 inches deep. So it's similar to the Neverfull MM, but, um, I mean, not exact. But it, I would say it's closest to that. It's kind of a in between the... Well, it's not really as big as the GM, but it's, you know, I mean, it's a little bit wider because the, the um, Neverfull is 13 inches wide. So you've got a little bit more on the width, but the Neverfull is six or seven inches deep, and this is only six, and they're both 11 inches high. But I think the difference is just that the ne when you put them side by side, and I don't have it to, to show you side by side, but you'll just see that there's a slight taper on the Neverfull versus, get out of here, dang it. There's a slight taper on the Neverfull and there's not one on this. You can see that it's pretty much gonna be the same width at the bottom as it is to the top. But you still can cinch in the sides and all that. So anyway, oh, and the strap drop is 11 inches versus the nine inches on the Neverfull. So see, look, you don't have to do the wonky thing like I talk about, you don't have to do all this. You can just easily put it on your shoulder. So anyway, um, so yeah, so I've got the, the Cognac in the Vecetos medium and then I also have the red and let me tell you guys this to me is a true red okay it's got like the bluish undertones it's not a pinky red it's like a blue red and so to me it's like the perfect true red and I love this I use it in December and it's such a cute bag and so anyway same same exact bag as the other one um, but just and they, they both are actually reversible but I'm not going to use that I would never reverse it and use the print on the other side and then they also come with these pouches Okay, and they're, they're generous size pouches, and so I kind of use them as a catch-all bag. Anyway, okay, so I had, and I don't have a video on it, but I did purchase a pre-loved uh, black one, but the logo on the black one, um, it didn't really stand out. Like, it was, uh, you know, kind of a really light, like a muted gray, almost blue. If you're looking at it long enough, it almost looks blue, and so, like, it didn't, I don't know, like to me, on this one, the black really stands out. You can see the logo really well. Same thing with the cognac. You can, you know, the, the logo stands out on both of these colors. But on the black one that I had, it didn't because it was kind of gray. Like I said, it was black bag, but it had like the gray MCM logo and you can't really tell. And it was a little bit different style. It was actually the shopper. And so the handles were similar, they were nine inches, like the Neverfull. So you did have to do the wonky to get it on. Well, anyway, so I called my my trusty friend out there at the uh, Orlando Outlet Mall, and um, the MCM Outlet Mall out in Orlando, and asked her if she had any totes on sale. And so she sent me a picture of some that have went on even further sale, and one of them was a black with white um, logo. And so I was like, uh -huh, yes, please. So anyway, it just came today. And um, like I said, I haven't even opened it. And so I just wanted to, I don't want to do the top too hard. It accidentally cut in. So let me, okay. So yeah, I was really excited because I still was wanting a black one, but I was wanting it to be, so here we go. Again, this is from the outlet store. It's brand new and cool. She included the little sack, although it's not in the sack, but she included it, so that's cool. And then, oh yeah, see, this is perfect. This, it actually includes two sacks. Okay, so this is perfect. So, here it is. Comes in this nice little, oh, it's a Ziploc. It's like a Ziploc MCM protective bag. Now see, I like that. I like that. Okay, and, oh yeah. Perfect. Same, okay, yeah, so see, it's the same exact tote as these other two. Look, same measurements, it's in the medium, and I like it better than the other black one I have because like I said, it has the white logo and it sticks out, you know, it's more contrast, and so I really like the contrast of it. And so, anyway, and it was so funny because when my son said, well, why did you get another black one? You had a black one. And I was like, well, I, I couldn't really see the logo on it. He goes, 
well, why do you want to see the logo? <laughs> Guys, because we do. I mean, that's the point. You want to see the logo, right? So yeah, anyway. Okay, and this one also is reversible, but the inside of this one um, is going to be uncoated canvas on the inside. So, but again, I would never use the side on it. You know, I wouldn't use that. And it also comes with a pouch. So let's, okay, yeah, there we go. I'm not going to unhook it all because you already know. But yeah, now this pouch is actually a tiny bit smaller than the ones that came with um, the cognac and the red. So you can see it's just a little bit smaller. Put this underneath and you can see better. So see, sticks up just a bit. This one's a little bit taller. But that's okay. Everything else, the width part is, is the same and that's good because I don't really have a bunch of tall items that I put in here. It's mainly, so I'm still going to be able to use this without any trouble. But you know, one year I did use, let's see, I guess it was last, last summer. I was traveling and I did use the little pouch, the cognac pouch, as my little travel thing. And I really liked using it. It was great. It was a great little thing. I didn't need my full size wallet, you know. Now I do like coordinating pieces and so I really, really like the MCM vintage stuff. And so I did find this cute little pouch thing. I think it's called the Jetta. I don't know. Um, but it has a little vintage uh, zipper pull and and every a lot of their vintage items, if you notice, so that really hardy uh, nylon, I mean, uh, yeah, nylon, and um, kind of like the Prada bags, you know how they have like that really hard, or uh, what am I trying to say, hardy nylon, that's how this is too, and you can still see the logo, and it's got the waterproof interior on the inside, and when you see this stamp here, that is an authentic piece that's that's going to signify an authentic piece um on that anyway this is before the company was bought out by the uh uh asian company so anyway or was it korean company now i can't remember anyway so i have this and then oh and then i think i've showed you my wallet i did get a pre-loved wallet and this is an older wallet and i actually just got a wallet yesterday too a pre-loved no no it's not pre-loved a new wallet that's discontinued it's silver, so it's a zip around silver wallet, and I, I wanted it because I wanted it to coordinate with the black bag, and then I also wanted it to coordinate with the red bag. Now, the red bag has gold hardware, so the silver wallet that I have obviously isn't going to necessarily match the gold, but, you know, you can mix your metals. You know that's a trendy thing to do, so it doesn't matter, um, but the hardware on the black bag is silver. Now, the black bag that I had that I actually just sold on Monday it had like a gunmetal. It was like a gunmetal hardware. And it didn't have, I mean, again, it was a tote, but it was like a different style. It was a shopper. And this is the Vecetos, um, or is this the tote? See, I don't know. Now, now I'm getting all confused. I don't know. Anyway. Okay. So there you go. This is the reveal on the medium size. Again, 15 by 11 by 6, 11 inch handle drop. It passes your elbow test. Oops. That's got stuck on the thing. And you don't have to do the wonky. And this is a great bag, and it's got the hardy, the hardy canvas, the coated canvas, which is what I like about it a lot. And what I like about, okay, so you can see that it's similar to the Neverfull in terms of it's got these little things. But see, what I like is because it's a reversible bag, it's not attached where, like, if I, if I got this caught on something, the worst that's going to happen is it's just going to stop right here. Like, it's not going to, it's connected on both sides, see? You see what I'm saying? Like it comes out over here and right here. And so if you snagged it, it's not going to just pop off. Like on the Neverfull, I think I said that in my Neverfull video that I was worried about snagging it on something and then it just coming completely off. Well, if I snag here, it's just going to pull it tighter on the inside. It's not really going to come off. I mean, I guess it could if I did it really hard. But that's one of the things that I like about the fact that it is reversible is because, you know, it's not attached to the outside to where it would pop off or come off with some kind of accident. You know what I'm saying? And then it doesn't have feet, but it has these little things, little, they are protectors. And I like that a lot. I just, I don't know you guys, these bags are just really, they, they're just, they're very hardy. The coated canvas on these bags is just, it's, it's thicker. I mean, it's a little bit thicker than like the Neverfull. And then I like um, the straps because it has this little extra, I don't want to call it a pad, but a pad, you know, up here. And, um, and, and they're just a teeny bit, I mean, it's just ever so slightly wider than the Neverfull handles, and they're and they're also thicker, just a bit thicker. So they're just, I don't know, they're just a little more hardy, you know? Um, but the big thing about these bags that I like, again, is the fact that they pass your elbow test, and you don't have any trouble, you know, getting into it. Okay, I brought this 
chair out here so I can, oh, right, here we go. Okay, so see, I got the red one, and I got the cognac, and see, they just, now this one's full, so that's why it looks like it's got more, I mean, it looks bigger, but it's not, they're the same exact size. Um, no trouble here, like the never full video that I showed you, they open up nice and wide, some people don't like that. I don't really um, just throw everything in here loosey-goosey, I have, you know, that pouch, and then I have some other bags, like I have bags in my bags, so I do keep everything um, organized, you know, in here. And the only thing that I wish it had that it doesn't have is a D-ring. But, um, you know, if you wanted to, you could actually just connect your keys on the inside of this because it does have the little hook on both sides. Well, no, it doesn't. It is on one side. It's kind of weird. It's, it's inside on one side, and then it's outside on the other side. So you could cinch in your, your sides if you want to. Anyway, okay. Hope this is helpful, and I'll talk to you real soon. Okay.